hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and yes we are here we're on the message train my message you train where anything goes and we're headed straight for a messy deal i tell you the truth i got to thinking about can in the game and that show that air and i was like okay okay i get it i get it i get it, i got it good all right there's just some things I just didn't like that disturbed me. Just rubbed me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we already know those that live here in Atlanta. Most of the people that come to the OLG uh, restaurant as well as Blaze Steakhouse. A lot of people look view it as a tourist stop. You know what I'm saying? They would hope to think they would see candy, maybe Todd, maybe the old LG ladies in rare form. But it's become like a tourist attraction. Almost like if you're going to Florida and you're going to Magic Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? You want to be over there with everybody that's looking like a princess, pr prince and all that kind of stuff. Don't really necessarily think you might meet them but just to go in the atmosphere and say that i was there i think that's the hype when it comes to um the olg restaurant in blaze people want to see the celebrities they want to touch them they want to uh take pictures with them this that and the third and they just want that i guess notoriety to say they met somebody famous that is mostly shown on tv and they consider themselves uh, 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 the ones that they're looking at as uh, celebrities. Or I should say reality stars. But I was like, girl, first of all, why is Todd looking like a person that needs to be in the Amish community? Like a Mormon. Where is he going with this long ass beard? Okay, looking like Father Time. I thought I had Father Time only for Portia's boyfriend, Simon. But I'm like, where is he going with this looking like a snowman or something? What is he doing? He need, like, he need to go to Antarctica or, or, or Alaska somewhere. Like, he need to be an Eskimo. Where is the snow coat? Y'all going on a skiing trip or something? Like, Todd, if he got in the, uh, the weather where it was so cold, his beard would just freeze all up. What kind of mess is that going on? Ooh. And this man that Todd holds in such high regard and esteem i'm like are you kidding me i got to thinking about hr issues and stuff of that nature how he went off on shadrika and going back and forth with her that was not gm material that was not someone that holds their uh self in high regard to doing what's right and being over employees that was a piss poor gm move and i was like girl and then i i was trying to figure out where hr was and all of this because when you're reprimanding someone or uh trying to get them where it's a, a doable situation where y'all can have a conversation you're supposed to take them in the office or somewhere private where it's just you and that person and y'all hash things out and if it doesn't seem like y'all can stay on one accord then you can implement some things but that was just piss poor and even hr would have wrote up the gm for going off and acting in such a manner he should not have acted in now one thing i like about um um don juan he don't like todd <laughs> he can see todd's mess from a mile coming and he is very protective of candy and between todd and this gm manager that think he's uh the best thing since sliced bread with butter got another thing coming i'm like where did they get him from where tell me what store was they shopping in that he was uh, calling himself managing because mm, i don't know where he was managing period but not in somebody's real executive uh luxurious restaurant you wouldn't have had nobody like him talking to a staff like the way he was talking to Shandrika. I mean, just because Shandrika wanted to go off the rails and stuff of that nature. You don't supposed to break character. You don't supposed to get down on her level and, and show the same energy she's giving you. No. 
And like I said, that's a write-up for both of them, to tell you the truth. Shandrika was being insubordinate, but then he wasn't playing his part as a GM to get her together behind closed doors. Because what was said and what was done should have been privy for everybody's ears. That's one-on-one in HR. And I'm not even an HR person, but I've been around people that work in HR, and I've known quite a few people that headed up a HR, HR program. And that's just piss poor. I'm like, Candy, where you getting these folks from? I'm like, Don Juan. Then you not meeting ex- ex- inspections? I mean, was Philip there when OLG and Blaze Steakhouse, was he there on staff and letting all this stuff happen with the inspections? He needs to be fired, girl. You don't need to be paying him no six figures, no five figures, no one figure. Okay? He don't need to be there. Because you shouldn't, your restaurant should not be in the toilet. And Lord, I'm like, send Todd to Antarctica, Alaska, and let him freeze his ass off for six months. Then bring him back and see if he still feels that y'all don't need a generator. I'm like, Candy, where's you getting these people from? Even the man you're sleeping with and have children by. Why are you letting him open his mouth? Because that was the stupidest thing I've heard. And it made me think about, okay, that's why he don't have any businesses. That's why he can't handle business and everything seems to go under. And he has to always keep begging candy for this, that, and the third. That's why he's not holding his own. Because anybody that have a restaurant or have a clue of being in a restaurant field, you need to have all your options available for whatever situation can happen can i already said the lights go out more than they normally should go out she don't know why todd did not want to buy a generator hell candy you the one putting the money out you're the head of this machine okay you should have more forethought and say no we're getting a generator and todd was just complaining time out well you have to do this you have to do that you have to go to city hall you got to wait for this well that's all a part of business and planning and structure what part you don't know about that i don't know why and then your gm gonna sit up there and say he don't even know why y'all don't have that in place now that's insubordinate to candy being his boss you see what i'm saying i know it's a storyline i know they're trying to um give their staff another avenue towards living life if they want to be in reality tv if they want to further their career as an actor actress da 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 i understand it but when you're taking it from a business standpoint your people got to be on point and like I said, the reprimanding and all this stuff should have been behind closed doors in a nice cute office. And y'all hash things out. And if it didn't fly right, okay. But you got Todd. He don't want to get a generator. He want to fire Shadrigal. He don't care who loyal to you. If he could get rid of Don Juan, he probably would. But you already know. Don Juan is the only thing you got other than the Lord Jesus Christ that's looking out for you, candy baby. <laughs> I'm like. Don Juan can smell bullshit <laughs> coming a mile from where it needs to be. Okay, he did not want you to marry Todd. We already know that. And he's not fond of Todd to this day. And I know you were choosing your words very carefully when you were trying to interview Don Juan on your um your YouTube channel and you were trying to celebrate him being a producer of the show, or executive producer. I see he got a little credit rights and stuff. And you're trying to pull him along uh, as best you can because you really do value him as a person. Now, I think Todd did have something correct when he said loyalty to a fault is going to be a problem. But, again, I'm looking at him and you being loyal to him because he's your husband. I know. And I know he gets jealous. Don't ever think he's not getting jealous because if we can see it, I'm sure you have felt it and you can see it, too. He's not as successful as you. And some men cannot handle their wife doing the darn thing and showing and proving. So I understood you had to say, but well, it was Todd's ideal about the OLG. Da 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 da. Well, damn, if it was Todd's ideal and he really felt very strong about putting a business together such as a Southern Cuisine. And then he wanted to expand it for it to be on TV and it'd be a sitcom. He's thinking about money. He can... um you know uh benefit from this revenue stream and i'm I'm glad you got the green light but 
Todd ain't handling no business. It should never come across where you being petty and you don't want to take the time to research things and see how much things are going to cost. Because it ain't costing you anything, Todd. It's costing your wife. Okay? Because we already know. If you had to foot the bill, ain't nobody getting no generator. Hell, you probably ain't got no seats. I'm like them little play school or preschool seats, plastic seats you were having in that restaurant, that's a bit piss poor. My big ass cannot come in there and sit on something that flimsy because you will have a lawsuit. I'm going to tell you right this there now. And a lot of other people probably feel the same way. So you definitely need to get rid of them plastic seats that somebody big, you know, 200 or more coming in trying to get a uh, um, be a part of your establishment, taste your food, eat your food, whatever, and they fall on the floor. It ain't gonna be a good look, okay? But like I said, uh, Don Juan can only handle so much, so much, so much, so much, and he need to get a hold of that Rashad. Cause Rashad is already complaining in his own television that you're not paying him the same rate that you pay him at the Steak and Blaze restaurant. That you have him hosting. Yes. You remember you had that other situation with that guy saying you were overworking him and wasn't paying. Then you had to pay the brother. You try to hush hush and try to keep it on the secret and all this that and third. Sell it out of court. You did that. Same thing with this Rashad. If he's all that spectacular. He's dressed to the nines every time you see him flirting around. Or floating around Atlanta. Then he should get the same pay candy. The same pay that you play him that blazes, uh, uh, was it seafood and steakhouse? You need to pay him the same thing, and then you need to pay him for mileage if you want him to go over there, unless you're just totally transitioning him from, uh, blaze steak and seafood, and you're gonna put him at OLG. But I don't think that his pay should suffer because you want to make that, uh, change because you could definitely find somebody else to come over there. There's a lot of more people his age that love to dress. But if your GM is not dressing to the nines, then Richard shouldn't be expected to dress to the nines either, even though that may be his M.O. And every time he floats out the house, he got to be spectacular, okay? But it just is what it is. But I'm like, I'm seeing issues, Candy, that you need to try to boss up. I mean, just cause uh, fat head over there, me and your husband. Don't like Shandrika. You know, maybe he tried to, allegedly, tried to go with her. You know, behind closed doors without you participating. I know you go both ways. You ain't made it. I mean, you made it apparent that you, you love both sexes, okay? So, we ain't blaming you or uh, trying to throw salt on you for doing that or not. You know, it's just your business. You float that way. But maybe Mr. Todd has something else, the reason why he don't want Shadrika to be a part of the OLG. That he wants to so cavalierly, uh, so cavalier wants to just get rid of her. Even though you have told him, you like loyalty. If you can't, if she can't be loyal, he can't be loyal, you ain't got nothing to do with her. You don't care how many times they mess up, but she's been loyal, Okay. Lawyer to a fault can get your ass in trouble too, Candy. Because you can't dismiss bad behavior. And you can't dismiss somebody just acting all willy-nilly out there. Okay? Miss Shandrika need to be working on time. I know we all have a problem with that in Atlanta. You know, some, you know, things need to be adjusted here and there. But if that's her main goal is to greet people and bring them into the establishment, then I guess she needs to, you know, get an apartment somewhere close around there. Even though it's going to be astronomical. But... You should be able to pay her for those services. But then again, she might hold some. She might know something about you, Candy, girl. You do something that she know about that you don't want her to tell. And that's why you keeping her around, girl. Just let us know because we want to know. <laughs> All right. That's why we keeping people that you say are loyal. Because they know stuff about you that you don't want to get out to the public, to the masses. Well, us bloggers, we have something to talk about, Candy. Well, hell, we got a whole storyline to talk about you and Todd. And how Todd just don't want to get a damn generator. I mean, are you... Girl! Why are you making him or letting him make those type of decisions? That's why I said either you're going to be in this wholeheartedly. And it seems like Don Juan don't want you to be in the restaurant business. Because he already see a train wreck ready to happen. But like I said, maybe it'll be just you filming for some seasons. Because I know, to me, it's a good show to watch. It's, it's not a family show. But if your child came in the room, you know, and want to sit and cuddle up with you while you're watching. 
candy in the game, it wouldn't be a bad thing. You know, uh, the child wouldn't see nobody, you know, hurting somebody physically or, you know, they throwing uh, knives, plates, forks, and whatever. You know, give them the impression that they can do that and that is uh, good behavior. No, 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 no. So that's why I think your show will uh succeed i don't know if it's going to get into the numbers as uh when you had the escape show that little spinoff that you say you don't want to do no more i'm like candy are you serious girl whatever gonna make you some money you see you need to be doing but i really think you don't want them scott sisters that can really slang saying their ass down to the ground that will really the escape <laughs> you know situation even though you try to put your little spin in and you said you was head of the group and this that and the thought we know candy you a backup singer go all right we know that don't go there okay you're good behind the scenes I ain't taking nothing like that from you but we know you're a backup singer girl don't start no mess won't be none but you know them sisters could sing their asses out you don't even want you you just totally dismissed the idea when andy was trying to say well maybe we need to do another show with the um your the escape group you know your little group you were in and then you you quickly shut that shit down like uh-uh, no 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 like candy have we not forgiven people have we not forgiven people girl we must forgive and move on okay but you you know you don't want to get these scott sisters no no do me no dinero no coins no uh, greenbacks you don't want to put nothing in their accounts girl girl sound like you haven't forgiven people <laughs> from their transgressions but when you transgress you want people to forgive you right candy right girl so do the right thing if it's going to give you some more headlining news out there and whatever you need to make that happen too just like you want to make something happen for your husband so we can get off his ass but we ain't got off his ass candy because we know with the shit that he just said out his mouth about uh the, the, the life don't go out that much i think we could deal with it like, that's not no business man that is not no business man that's a man like he just want to run through your money and i know he be giving you a hard time behind him closed door talking about you, you don't nobody like me they think i'm using all your money but i'm trying to do this i'm trying you ain't trying to do nothing talk you didn't too, do too much when candy wouldn't even mess with you you know you was uh the back stage man in productions or somewhere on the real housewives of atlanta you couldn't even come up and confront can on your own you had to have phaser come in and set stuff up girl what kind of man do you have can i know they say you take care of your man and that hey if you got the money and you got the uh mentality to deal with that kind of mess go for it do you boo do you but i would check to see why he wants to get rid of Shandrika. I would do a little investigation of my own, okay? I'm just saying, honey. If he's trying to get down without you, there's an issue. There's a problem. But, yeah, now, I know Don Juan just can't stand him. I, you just see it. You can see it's written in the air, honey. He don't want to be around Todd. He don't want to be involved in Todd's like, uh, get-quick schemes or whatnot. Because he wants to be able to go home and relax and chill. And don't have to be wondering about is this going to fall through. Is that going to fall through. Because that's not what Kennedy really want to do. But I'm going to support her anyway. Because you know I'm her right hand man. See he, I'm sure Todd didn't like that. When you were trying to walk on eggshells. Or how you were trying to display how Don Juan is in your life. Versus what Todd should actually be in your life. Don Juan should be able to handle all your other businesses. This OLG thing was his thing. Todd's thing. I mean, it's almost like you need to have Philip and him run OLG until they get it up to par. Until they get it up to inspection level where everything is an A. It ain't got to be an A+, plus, but just as long as we're in the A category. Okay? And there's a problem if it slides down to B. Because everybody wants to come to a clean, healthy place of business where they can enjoy themselves enjoy their food enjoy their drinks this that and the third and they don't have to wonder are they gonna get food poisoning out they leave girl that's what i'm saying so if this was todd's whole idea the structure of uh putting olg together getting the recipes from your mother and your aunts making good uh southern cuisine okay and it was his idea to try to get the olg restaurant out there for a sitcom show let him do the work 
come, whether it's successful or it failed, let that be on his own merit. Stop holding this man like he's a child, because that's what it seems like. All the man running around there is Don Juan. And to tell you the truth, it's, it's like, uh, uh, we got quiet as a skill. Lies, I'm going to speak it out. I think you and Don Juan would have been perfect together. Y'all would have been a, a magnificent team. Y'all would have been a force to be reckoned with. Okay. Forget Todd. Okay. We don't left Todd. Todd little, little tiny Tim Todd. We don't left him to the side for now. But Don Juan has always been by your side. If only he was not gay. Okay. If only he was not gay, girl. That would be your true husband. Don Juan. Because he has your best interest at heart. He's always looking out for you. He's always telling you what makes sense, what don't make sense, what you can lose by doing this, what you can gain by doing that. And I think that's what Todd hates. Because Todd just like to live the, the luxurious life. He don't care how it's done or how it gets together. He just want to live it. And on birthday, I told you from Jump Street, he's coming with the bullshit. The bullshit. <laughs> and she's always said Honey, baby, this is too much. But if you like it, I love it. I ain't got to lay with the man, okay? But, yep. Yeah, you know what you have been taught. He's giving you two beautiful children. But, honey, Todd seemed to be a little thirsty to me. He seems to be a little thirst bucket. Honey, him and Portia would have been uh, two peas in a pod, honey. That's who he should have been with, okay? But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. I had to come back and do a recap on what I really felt about Mr. Todd. He has no business sense to me, at least when it comes to the restaurant business and how things are structured and how things need to be maintained. You know, that's what I'm um, going on, all right? Everything is just not party, party, party. If you let people fill up on drinks and stuff and serve them any kind of food, whether if you picked it off the floor or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> just serve it to him. He just, he's piss poor, piss poor. I'm like, girl, where's his truck at? You remember when you bought him uh, um, 18 wheeler? What, what's going on with that candy? Can you tell us? Can you tell us? Because the streets want to know. And I'm curious too. I'm curious here. What what happened to the trailer truck? Did you have to send it back to the company because he wasn't doing shit with it? And the men he had to go and do things. They weren't doing anything but taking breaks. <laughs> they supposed to be in Florida. But they in Alabama somewhere. Like on to their way to get to Florida. But they had to stop by Alabama. Girl. I tell you, then he just getting gray. Just getting gray. That's an old fool. Dog's an old fool. Okay, he was a young fool at one time. Now he going to the old fool, and he just damn damn need to shave that beard. I'm like, oh, I couldn't stand looking at him really. I it just get, gave my skin crawl, whatever. I just could sound like this is not Santa Claus time. It's not December. Okay, you ain't coming down no chimney. All right. So you need to cut that beard, shape, shape it up a little bit. You know, you gotta have a little something. But that's just, that's just, uh, uh, that's giving me Amish. That's giving me living on the farm. It's just giving me old generation time, Todd. It's giving me old generation time. All right, cause like I said, if Don Juan was a heterosexual man, that would be the best man for a candidate. Because he thinks outside the box. And he thinks with numbers and this and the third. And like I said, he has her best interest at heart. And he loves her kids and her family. Okay. But that damn Todd. Opportunities. I don't care what y'all say. Just an opportunity. He's just buying his time. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. But that's my opinion. Okay. I respect everybody else's opinion. So y'all got to respect mine. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Got to have more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Uh, make sure you like my videos and share my videos, okay? But definitely subscribe. Get in them comments and let me know what y'all thought about the commentary, the subject matter. Not me. Not me, okay? Not me. Just the subject that I'm talking about, okay? But I will see y'all next video. Peace out.